Hello Pisces. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is for sun, moon, rising sign Pisces. Wherever Pisces is in your natal chart, these are energies that you can confidently apply to that position and it will pertain. So Pisces, this is your full oracle card spread over here on YouTube. In the description box below, there is also an extended reading that comes from this where we'll pull, I'll pull another full tarot card spread and do your weekend, well, not your weekend, your weekly romance reading. So Pisces, thank you for supporting the channel. Um, if you guys are just finding the channel, my name is Michelle and this is my channel, Born Without Boundaries. Welcome. Please do click subscribe and ring that bell so you can help the channel grow. You know when I go live and when I upload all that juicy content. So Pisces, let's get into your reading. There will be a brief 30 second commercial break. I wanna thank you ahead of time. Um, I do this early on so the commercials do not enter, interrupt the message at all. Thank you so much because when you watch a video, when you watch a commercial, it's actually a donation to the channel. It's, that's what it is, the, the, the commercials are sponsoring the videos. I'm very, very grateful and I wanna thank you ahead of time and I'll see you in about 30 seconds. Now, if you just sat through an awkward pause, then lucky you, you didn't have to watch a commercial. Or if you did sit through a commercial once again, you have my full gratitude, I'm very grateful. Pisces, this is your energy, sun, moon, rising, or other energies, November 10th through the 17th of 2019 for Pisces. Pisces, 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 Pisces energy, November 10th through the 17th of 2019. Pisces energy, November 10th through the 17th of 2019. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces energy, November 10th through the, there you go, November 10th through um, the 17th of 2019, November 10th through the 17th of 2019, November 10th through the 17th of 2019, Pisces energy, Pisces, 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 okay. All right, Pisces, the energy crowning your reading, this is really interesting. It came out more uh, upside down and it kind of turned itself around. So in the beginning of this week, things may seem a little stuck, may seem a little stagnant, but by the end of this week, it's going to be picking up. This means, look at life is speeding up. It just, it is what it is. It's very blunt, it's very blatant. There seems to be um, a slowness, like I said, a little bit of a lethargy. There could be room for doubt early on in this week, Pisces, but and this is the two card. This always reminds me of Gemini energy. Energy of thoughtfulness, of forward thinking, communications, a message is coming through later on this week. It, you could be waiting for something. You could be waiting for word of, did I get into the college that I wanted to get into? Or did I get the audition? Or did I get the job? You're expecting communications to come in earlier this week and it doesn't. Remember, we're still in Mercury retrograde to the end of November. Mercury retrograde affects this Gemini energy. It affects communications. Things could get stopped up and I think that that's what's happening. There could be also this feeling of things being sluggish or not moving forward or you thinking like no answer means no, but I don't feel that way. I feel because of the way that the card behaved, things are turning around and speed will start picking up. You will act, your life will actually start gaining momentum in whatever you have been putting your efforts and your energies into Pisceans. So please do not give up hope because here this week is coming. It's, it's, it's moving forward. You will see progress toward the end of this week. I say, especially after this full moon where we can just release all the energy that maybe is blocking us, like get rid of that block energy. Pisces during that full moon on, on the 12th, which is on Tuesday. Um, it's a full moon in Taurus, beautiful, solid, reliable energy. This is a good time to apply for a loan if you wanted it. Um, financial resources could, um, could start picking up and get a little bit more solid. This is also a time or a feeling where you want to be closer to home or have start off like long-term relationships with people because it's a very love-filled, romantic energy. All of this has a little bit of a delay for you this week. It came out, it started out, this is how the card was positioned. And then all of a sudden, as the other cards hit it, 
it turned itself, started to turn itself around. So I'm wondering what the messages are on the other cards. Of course, we're going to turn them around for you. But this crowning energy is keep having faith because what was seemed to be backwards or stalled or dead is not. It's, it's actually coming back to life. Maybe it was just in shock, right? <laughs> Ever seen that happen to an animal? You think they're dead because they were stunned and then they like get up, shake it off and run in the opposite direction. I think that that's the energy. It's like you might have been shocked by something, stunned by something or something could have just been stuck or in stasis and it's finally waking up and being turned back on again. And it, it, you'll see momentum definitely after the full moon, more toward, more toward, I would say, 14th, 15th, 16th. Let's put it that way. All right, but there's so much more energy to go through, Pisces. So let's see what this is. Oh, this, and there's a lot of energy. Interesting. Oh, yeah, what did I say? In the beginning of this week, it's going to drain you. It's going to make you feel like you're devalued, like you're going you're, you're gonna to lose a sense of self, lose a sense of value. You're going to start giving ho up hope on your dreams. This is the Aquarius card. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius, but you actually did. I'm going to attach the Aquarius video above here. Look above, look above, look above, because this is the star card for me in this deck, and it's it's this Aquarian energy, and I just think that you have been looking at these, the little things, the small things, the, the, the details, maybe the peculiarities or the quirks, and letting it get to you too much, in that you've been losing steam or losing confidence in somebody or something. Maybe it's your own star that you've been losing faith in, as in your dreams, your wishes. Maybe there has been this lack of interest in you or or you know what you're trying to get off the ground or you feel like there's a lack of interest or you know you're not getting the investors or the investments that you want you're not making the revenue that you want there seems to be like just this stagnation toward the beginning of the week that's really making you feel empty and that's why i was channeling with just that first antelope spirit don't give up hope because it's turning around and you'll you that momentum is definitely there because the rest of the cards are all facing right they're all facing upright <laughs> you know they're all it's all going to be okay um it was just in the beginning with this energy of like this is this is actually backwards too we'll get into that energy later time for a deep dive Ooh, this is really just being laying it on the line and telling somebody what you really feel, putting your heart on the line. But I did say this was a very romantic energy. And maybe you opened up to somebody recently that didn't open up back to you. They were a closed shell or they gave you kind of a chilly response. They didn't give you the kind of response that you wanted, Pisces. Um, and that is what could have made you feel like you had been compromised or that your energy had been drained. I don't think that's the case. This swan spirit is showing up. This is very Libra energy. The swan spirit is showing up as, remember, swans mate for life. So it's it's air energy. Yes, it's Libra energy. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra. But there's also a sense of, of real true commitment. Libras are, they are, it's almost like they're, serial monogamous they're they're or they're could they commit for life libras are very long terms in terms of their relationships so it's this energy it's also venus energy and what did i say about the full moon the full moon is a full moon in taurus also ruled by venus so this is picture venus de milo right this is that venus energy of somebody unveiling their heart to you or showing you their heart showing you how they really feel now this isn't a specific romance reading, but it is coming out strong. So I got to share it with you, Pisces, that this seemed to be something that seemed stagnant at first, something that maybe the person, like I said, gave you the cold shoulder or didn't want or, 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 or pretended to not have feelings for you, even though you're be, you're very psychic. You, you could feel something, a connection between you, but they would not acknowledge it out loud. And it was it was affecting how you felt. It was it was really making you feel down about yourself, or maybe even just a little bit depressed, or 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 like starting to look at the world in a negative way. Because because you know you know you know you know. I can hear you saying, "I know they have feelings for me. I know they feel this way. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it." But they're acting like I don't exist, and it was kind of making you a little bit jaded and pissed off. You could have been being. You could have been 
at least in the beginning of this week, you could, you could have the tendency to take it out on people who you know love you, like, you know, be a little extra agitated or, or sharp or quick with them um, because they're a safe place and you're frustrated and you don't really know how to deal with this right now. It's just hurting you inside. The, the message is coming through loud and clear, Pisces. This person does love you. They're just not ready to acknowledge it yet. Or this week, they're turning around and they're finally able to acknowledge it. And that's why I have this card staring at me. This is a Scorpionic card. It's a uh, very uh, Phoenix energy. It's rising from the flames and ashes to a whole new life. It's something there that was, it's something very different. So, you know, you start... Um, you know, you start the, the dragonfly starts as a little, little larvae in the water and then it flies. So I do feel like this is once again, this sort of like water to air energy asking you, you Pisces to sort of, um, not be so heavy, not be so heavy. And, um, in other words, don't get discouraged. <laughs> like that's, that's, that's the, that's the whole commentary is don't get discouraged it's, it's actually changing into something that's much better and much more beautiful. So, you know, stay lighter, stay above the surface. Don't, don't let it sink you down because that's not what's going on here. It, 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 it is what you think it is and it's going to be okay. Just give it a little bit more time Pisces because things are going to start being revealed and they're going to start blossoming. You can see the full moon happening behind this card. So it has something to do with this moon phase coming out, this, this blossoming, this growing, this um, development, development of something that is more mature, more sophisticated, um, more flexible, more, more capable. Um, it's not over. It's just beginning. Love is all around you. This card is coming in loud and strong, and you're going to get messages of love this week. There will be somebody expressing their love to you, their appreciation for you. Um, and that could be in the way that calls and says, no, but you did get the job. You know, it, we've just been held up here. You know, the, our, the computer systems were down, yada, yada, yada. You know, one of those scenarios where you were getting really heavy and really discouraged and really frustrating and really feeling so bad about yourself. And by the end of the week, it's all going to come around and, and, and you're going to almost feel like apologizing to some people, I guess, because you might be getting tempted to be very, very bitter or very sharp with your words. Um, very insensitive or very accusatory just to like nod somebody to try to get some reaction from them because it's almost like you're just not getting anything and that's the worst. You know, it's like somebody hating you could make more sense than somebody being apathetic toward you. And that's that feeling of, excuse me, Stop ignoring me because I know that's not what's going on. It's, I feel the frustration coming through. It's not going to last all week. If something is going to be made very, very clear to you. The message is going to come in. It's going to be a message of that something that you love. There is always enough. This is your energy going back into balance and being in its natural state of happiness with their emotions. So you will, your emotions will sort of start to settle down and subside and be okay and be, it's, it's going to, it's going to be resolving itself toward the middle of this week, the end of this week. You'll be once again, very comfortable with your emotions, swimming around in them, very delighted and very happy and very free and very accepting of everything that you are and feel, but it has something to do with this message coming in because things are going to be made all right. You're going to receive word that you are respected. You are appreciated. You are wanted. You know, you did get this opportunity or it, it could, if it's a romantic situation, the, I mean, the card says it itself. And with the swan card out here, time for a deep dive. Love is all around. Love is all around this deep emotional, deep emotional love is all around. Pisces, that's how, how else can I read the card? That's what it says. Deep emotional love is all around. So this feeling of finally somebody diving in with you. That's, that's the, t being them finally being willing to take the plunge. Like I said, take a leap, take a leap of faith. Use your mind wisely. This is very, this is Aquarian energy. This is once again, very air energy, very trust in the higher purpose. 
a very when pigs fly. So in other words, something that you thought was impossible is actually going to be happening this week. That's what's going to end up and it's going to lighten up your mood a whole bunch. And you really, really needed that because the way you started out this week is not in a good mood. Magic works through you and the abundant universe will provide. So um, magic works through you. That's an obvious message, right? Um, you are magic. I feel like this is your dreaminess coming back. It's almost like you being somebody's dream come true or you just sort of weaving this, not weaving, but like casting this beautiful, elegant spell around somebody that just makes them feel like they're lost in a dream, even if you turn them on their head. You definitely destabilize this person, but there's something about it that they love. Um, you just kind of make them a little bit freer and a little bit more liberal than they normally would be. You sort of shake them out of their normal, steadfast, maybe stubborn behavior. This is Taurus energy, by the way. This is full on Taurus energy, but it's, it's doing it. It's, it's making it a little bit topsy turvy. It's making it a little bit more dreamier. It's adding, it's, it's in other words, it's not, it's not, it's not stead. It's not, um, it's not solid. It's, it's not like, it's not certain. It's, it's not, um, but that's not, that doesn't, I know it sounds bad. I know it sounds bad. It's not bad. It's not, it's not determined yet. And I think that in other words, your Pisces, you are going to have to be okay with letting your emotions, sharing your emotions and being vulnerable this week because you're actually going to be manifesting the next step. It's almost like this person or this opportunity, you may need to, see, I don't think you're going to have to call them. I really don't. I, I, you, you may, you may need to have to pick up the phone to check on this opportunity that you haven't heard from. And overwhelmingly when you do they'll be like oh I'm so sorry I didn't get back to you I've been swamped with work so it wasn't that you lost the opportunity it was just that the other side had gotten muddled right that's that's what's going on so you might need to make that call and just be able to get out of your gloominess enough to have enough hope to let yourself be a little bit more vulnerable and say hey what's going on here it doesn't make any sense right? And, and, and that's okay. That will, that will actually make the other person more comfortable with their, their feelings and, and, and want to engage in a conversation with you, a very honest conversation with you. Um, the abundant universe will provide is upside down. So it almost feels like, um, it just feels like compromise. That's what it feels like. It feels like, it feels like you're going to have to be compromising this week, Pisces. Hold on, I'm gonna flip the camera around so I can review the cards with you, hold on. So I just kinda of got a clarifier on what this Taurus, very earth energy was about. And it's just that, in other words, Pisces, somebody who is normally very, 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 very independent and resourceful is going to need your resources this week. You know, it's, it's almost like they're going to need you to provide for them. And that's why magic works through you. And this upside down Buffalo spirit came out. You're going to have to be somebody's magic. You're going to have, you're going to have to solve their problems for them and turn things around for them. They're stuck. And that could very well be why they did not communicate something to you this week. They were, they were not communicating with you. You're going to have to make them unstuck. You're going to have to be their resources. Um, yeah, you really are. Even if that is just emotional resources and emotional support. But I also feel like this is 3D abundance as well. You may actually want to support or help somebody. Um, because they really need, they really need, they really need your help. They really actually do need your help. Um, this is take a leap of faith in them, Pisces. Take a leap of faith and go ahead and take care of them anyway. Because it's not that they don't care about you. It's that they've, they've lost steam. They've lost confidence in themselves. You're losing confidence in yourself and your opportunity because you think it's fading away. And you're angry about it because you knew you were perfect for that job. Or you knew that you were perfect for that person. And instead of getting angry, channel that anger. Like I said, that card was flipped. Channel that anger and push it forward, progress, 
like share, talk about something, you will be hearing something from that person that will really turn everything around in your head and make you realize it was not you. They just need help and you're more than happy to provide that help for them. I am going to go over to Vimeo um, to dive a little bit deeper into this reading with tarot to understand a little bit more about these upside down energies and your way forward Pisces like what what's the best strategy moving forward and then we're also going to go into your romance reading I'll see you over there